Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be doing a 12 month zodiac spread for everybody. This will be for the sign of Leo for 2018. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, the bottom of the deck is a Seven of Swords. So, um, a lot of you have been through some shit. And I think the biggest thing to remember is that it's time to let this go. It's in your head. You're still talking about it. You're still thinking about it. Um, it's a new year. Um, I think it's time to let this shit go. Yeah, you've been through some shit. I'll, I'll look at the knives in your back. You know, people you've been de betrayed, you've been lied to. Um, the next card at the bottom of the deck is the chariot. So in order for things to move forward, you really do need to let this go. Um, for January, you have the Two of Cups in reverse. So, there has been a breakup or a separation with someone that you were in love with. And this, this hurt. Uh, February, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, you possibly wanted a new start but you were rejected and there was a false start instead um some delays with the potential for a new start with this march you have the queen of wands the queen of wands is someone who is feisty and full of herself and i feel like maybe this is what you this is what you're trying to be you're trying to get to the place where you are you know what you want and this might be you in march April brings the Sun card in reverse. The Sun card in reverse is some kind of delayed gratification, but at the same time it's delayed. It doesn't mean it's not going to be coming. It's just delayed for right now. May is the Five of Swords. Some kind of bullies or theft or violence, some type of abusive relationship. You're feeling defeated because of this and you are having mixed feelings and feeling like you've lost a lot of things and you are in your head about it. June is the Nine of Wands. This is telling you to keep and maintain boundaries because this is a test of courage and persistence. Stay strong. July is a strength card, so it's telling you to have strength. You know, you are strong enough to overcome anything in your life that you want. Take control. Have confidence. August brings the Queen of Pentacles, who is a mother. Um, she's supportive. She is nurturing. And maybe someone's going to have a baby. Or maybe um, this is someone that is in your life that can help you. Or maybe this is who you... Um, Maybe this is who you want to be, someone who's balanced enough to be on this level. September brings the Hermit card in reverse. The Hermit card in reverse um, excuse me. <sighs> um, The hermit is someone who thinks about their actions before they do it, but when it's in reverse, if you feel like you're lonely because of the things that you've done in your past, and you feel like you're repeating them over and over again. October is the Three of Wands in reverse. The Three of Wands in reverse talks about delays or setbacks and some type of plan that you wanted for your life that isn't going the way you want it to. November, however, brings the Ten of Cups. So, marriage, children, family reunions, but it's on the completion level of total love and support, or whatever level you're on right now. Um, December, King of Pentacles. Emotionally balanced, and I feel like you're going to be... Um, 
because you have the king and queen of pentacles you and this maybe whoever you're dealing with you guys are making money you're on the same level you know um It really does come down to letting go of the betrayal that you've been through so that these good things can come in for you because the more you're in your head and your feelings and feeling like you're a failure and that you're still doing the same things, you will. That's are powerful. Tell yourself that you're going to overcome them and that better things are coming for you because they are. And I mean, the Ten of Cups is the best emotional level you can be on with somebody you know um which means you get rid of you get through all the rest of the bullshit that was there you know um, you have some major arcanas in your reading which means that even if you're unable to make those decisions they're still going to be made one way or the other and good things are going to come from it um a lot of people have been through some betrayal and heartbreak and loss and it is hard to get out of your feelings about it because you want to understand it so that you're able to um, learn from it or move on or maybe understand what you did wrong. Some advice cards, you got the Empress. Someone who is, um, talks about a new start within yourself where you are on the highest level of, you know, abundance you are um excuse me new things can come in knight of swords someone's going to be coming in fast if you want them to let go of that betrayal so your life can move on good things are coming have a good day